Jason Beattie. Welcome back to G4 Live at E3 2011. Now, if you like Law & Order, you play L.A. Noir. But if you like violence and mayhem, well, you're going to want to join a gang in Saints Row the Third. Here's Morgan with an E3 world premiere. Here to take us through Saints Row the Third is the game's producer, Greg Donovan. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. In the beginning of this game, we're actually in a little bit of a different position than we usually are. We're actually sort of at the top of the corporate ladder. How do we get there? Uh, well, we're just starting the game. Uh, uh, we're the, the, the Saints are the king, of, the king of Stillwater. They own everything. They've licensed out their image to uh, energy drinks. Um, uh, they're actually making a movie in the universe. So we didn't want to start, you know, and no more of that starting from the bottom and working your way up. We wanted players to be, like, in the role of someone that's calling the shots. We think that's a very unique position, and uh, we think that uh, players are going to want to play this character. So the Saints... Lots of guns, lots of money, lots of power, and they soon um, figure out that they have to prove that they're, they're uh, prove that they need to do that in another city that's new to them. So they're now they're branching out so exactly. So they're branching out. So we're not going to be in the same location that we have been in previous games. Correct. We're going to be in a, a completely new city for players to explore. It's called Steelport. You're seeing some of it right now. Scott is actually. Uh, well, you know, it's an unfortunate day for the pedestrians. <laughs> and, uh, that guy's now having a bad day. Right, yeah. And so right now, Scott is going around and messing with the pedestrians and showing, like, how this over-the-top theme uh, actually transcribes to messing with the pedestrians here. Like, why we equip uh, people with uh, the ability to punch pedestrians. We can actually nut shot them. and. Uh, take them out through flying V kits. Well, you can't, you can't nut shot her though. No, we're in. <laughs> we are an equal opportunity offender. You can nut shot uh, all, any oh, kind of go. person there. Right? <laughs> so there you go. Anyway, the Saints are in uh, Steelport and they're, they're fighting this main antagonist called the Syndicate, made up of three gangs, and they need to prove that they are actually. Uh, not only the kings of Stillwater, but also the kings of Steelport. So, so they're coming into Steelport, and so, but they're they're well funded. They're on top, but they still are, are going to face these three gangs who are less well funded, or are they just as big? No, no. The Syndicate is actually a, a multinational conglomerate of three gangs. Um, you're going to see one of them later on in the demonstration here, and, and um, the Saints are there to say, you know what, the Syndicate, you're not as bad as the Saints. They, the Syndicate actually asks the Saints to join them, and the Saints, being the Saints, say, no way, we're going to. They say, uh-uh, it's yeah, not happening. Yeah, absolutely, in true Saints fashion. <laughs> So, um, and it, what's great from a, a design point of view is because, well, okay, we've seen some of that there. There's, <laughs> there's some unique uh, Saints uh, humor there. But, okay, right here, this is uh, one of the gangs that make up the syndicate. This is called the Luchadors, Mexican wrestlers. It's called a flashpoint, take them out. Um, and, you know, you could engage in a firefight, but it's a lot more fun just to let's take them out with an airstrike. Uh, all at once. So you guys do have a lot of money. That's what you're saying. Uh, it's it's an interesting design perspective, and the Saints are the top of their game. I mean, it's like we can give players those types of weapons from the beginning of the game, give players toys to play in the uh, in the sandbox world uh, from the very beginning, and it uh, actually provides a gameplay that's kind of unique to the franchise that has come to be known as Saints Row. It's uh, it's um, oh, and then, then we saw they getting into the the car there, Duke's a Hazard style, um, a lot more efficient than just opening the game. Um, we, I mean, opening the door, that takes seconds. Well, but it's a lot more fun and a lot more uh, gratifying to actually <laughs> shoot through the windshield. Yeah, we, 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 we are very busy people. We have nut shots to do. We don't have time to open yeah, the door. You no, know, it's all about causing mayhem. Yep, it's, a, it's, a, <laughs> it's a, one of the key features of the game. Okay, so what other activities uh, do we get to do in the game? Uh, well, we're bringing back a couple of the favorites from Saints Row 2. Um, I'm not going to mention the specifics, and as well as a, a couple of new ones. Uh, one of the ones to give you a taste is called Professor Genki's Super Ethical Reality Climax Show to give you an idea of where we're pushing things. It's a combination of like Japanese game shows and uh, the Running Man movie, so I'll give you a little taste of what's going on there. Oh, well, okay, well, I'm excited about that. And now there's also sort of going to be a change. You're almost leveling up now. And we do have a new mechanic in the game where uh, players, through completing activities, get respect and rewards, and they get to, through our own version of the perk store, choose what rewards they want to help them complete the game. Giving, you know, player choice is a huge, huge staple of the franchise, and this just extends that. And of course, car choice is also a staple of the franchise. So you're, you're, you got a lot of uh, there's sort of new uh, driving mechanics as well. Yeah, we've uh, completely overhauled all the all the physics of each of the vehicles. Scott's uh, and well, and in case you don't like driving, we actually have the flying vehicles here. This is a VTOL, a vertical takeoff and landing there. But oh, take it off. Does, can he jump in the window that way? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so driving is your thing. You can go by air. This is uh, you know all the vehicles are designed to be fast, fluid, and fun. This thing's equipped with. Heat-seeking missiles and laser beams. 
but like, like, well, yeah, like the cars, it's uh, it's easy to drive and um, completely new to uh, the Saints Row franchise. And then so you have some new weapons as well. Oh yeah, a ton of new weapons. One of which we're not allowed to show here on the television. Yeah, you'll see it later. But uh, the airstrike was one of the new <laughs> ones. These over-the-top weapons that players get from the beginning. Uh, you know, part of the goal is just like to create this game that is over the top, and rather than just have it, you know, on gameplay, the whole experience. And we want to make sure that players get these fun toys to help them go through critical path as well as open world sandbox gameplay from the beginning, uh, right from the get-go. Well, I'm incredibly excited to, first of all, fly that airplane. Thank you so much for coming by and bringing us an awesome world premiere. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thank you.